Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we're working on a Hot Wheels Redline AMX. So this is another one of those blast from the past projects. What got me stuck is uh, I didn't have enough zinc plating on it. As you can see, don't look at me. Tall head, short head, tall head. You can see all the pitting on this car. There just wasn't enough zinc on this thing to get a real nice clean polish out of it. I've come a long ways with my zinking processes and stuff now, so I want to fix this up and do it right this time. You don't see these Redline AMXs very often, and if you do, they're very expensive. So just being able to work on one was, uh, was making me pretty happy. And I'll probably even clean up this base again. It looks all right, but... I don't know, I just didn't do a stellar job back in the day because I was just kind of getting into it. So now that we're a little bit more seasoned in the uh, art of Redline restorations, we will fix this up and get it looking minty again. We've got a little bit of water here and I think we'll just dig into this with a little bit of this 600. And we'll see how bad it is. I don't remember it being that bad, but uh, when I saw it, I was like, oh damn. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad once you get it sanded a little bit, so. Hopefully all these little pits are no problem. We'll just get rid of them. We can move on. Move on with our lives. I don't know if you guys would be interested in the story behind this car, but the reason it's been sitting around for so long is uh, initially when I agreed to work on this car, it was back in the, when I used to have the Reddit going. I was looking for cool projects to work on and this AMX came up and I was like, hell yeah, I want to work on that AMX. I'm a big fan of these cars. My dad was a big fan of these cars and they're kind of hard to get because it's a rare Hot Wheels. So eventually when the car showed up, I opened up the box and there was three cars in there. But the problem was, I mean, three cars, I didn't agree on three cars, I agreed on one car. So he sent in this, he sent in a uh, Diora, and he sent in a uh, paddy wagon. So it was nice enough to do the paddy wagon for him, but the Diora I didn't touch because, uh, I don't know, I kind of felt like I was getting taken advantage of a little bit. So yeah, that's my, uh, that's my story time from back in the day. I was really struggling back then. I was just struggling, struggling everything to be honest. All right, so I've given our car here a little adequate uh, degreasing. So I'm gonna just go ahead, get this thing in there, hook up our negative. And process started. So I'm gonna leave this in here for, I don't know, probably at least 10, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Try to do a couple good coats on there so we can get a real nice polish this time. We'll get this car back to its rightful owner. I lost contact with the owner of this car shortly after I shut down the uh, Reddit, which was probably a year and a half ago now. So, so the gentleman finally uh, sent me a message on Instagram and I got his address and stuff. So that's why we're, uh, we fired up the old zinker here and we are fixing up this AMX. So I thought I might as well make a video because you know, I'm not gonna work on it on my day off, right? All right, let's have a look at this thing. It's been kind of gurgling away in there for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. You'll know it's when it's time to remove it when you start seeing kind of darker areas. You can kind of see the darkness on that rear quarter panel starting to form right on that little body line. That's kind of how I know when it's time to pull it out. And we got a nice little coating of zinc on there. So I'm gonna do some sanding, 2000 grit. And I'll probably do this, uh, I don't know, a few more times just to make sure we got enough zinc on there so that we aren't having any more of those little pits. So I was just going to go give this another good degreasing and then I was going to do another coat of zinc and then I was probably going to try polish at that point. So, so I'm going to just repeat the same process I just did and I'll get back to you in a moment. So I've been polishing this for a little while here. Oh, oh, careful. Shirt reveal. Hockey Canada. I will say it's quite an improvement. All our little pits are gone. She's looking good. I'm at the point where I think we could go ahead and put some paint on this thing. So, so I'm going to go ahead over to the spray booth and we're going to give this a final degreasing. I'm going to pick a color and we're going to spray it. So I don't know what it's going to be. I'll surprise you. Probably see it as it's coming out of the gun. So let me go give this a good degrease and I'll meet you in the spray booth. Thank you. 
So I wanted to just clean up this base a little bit. It doesn't look too bad. Most of it's already been kind of cleaned up. It's gonna use a little flitz and just, just try to clean it up a little bit more. This project kind of reminds me of uh, when you're going to go look at purchasing a car that had a recent restoration but still needs work. That's what this reminds me of. <laughs> Most of you guys can relate to that. There is strings everywhere. So we got this thing looking pretty fresh. Hopefully it's good to go for another 30 years or so. I'm going to redo the red on the back of here. I'm just waiting for our paint to finish up. Should be dry any minute now. All right, I'm gonna do a final assembly here and then uh, you know, put this in the light box. We'll have a look at it. Pretty cool revisiting this project. Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there have never seen an AMX Redline. That's pretty much how scarce they are. They're probably worth some money, so I understand why uh, you know Buddy would want to get his car back here after after these couple years where it's been in storage. So that is excellent. This little guy can go home next week. Let me do a quick assembly and I'll get it in the light box and we'll do a final reveal. So there we go, here's a beautiful red AMX. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I had to do this uh, quick restoration anyways, so I'm sure you guys didn't mind that I filmed it. Turned out nice and uh, yeah, you don't get to see these AMXs very often, like I was saying, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know the last two videos haven't been extremely detailed, but that's all right, I'm working on something big over the weekend, so I'm hoping to reveal it on Monday. So stick around for that one. Subscribe so you don't miss it. Gonna be Christmas related. Wink, wink. Please leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments. I've been putting hearts on all of those lately, so feel free to say hello, my little friend. Just because uh, you guys are making an effort, so I'm gonna make an effort, and together we're gonna be successful. If you've been a subscriber for any amount of time, you would know that uh, Diecast Resurrection is filmed in my buddy's basement. We got a couple stellar benches set up down here, studio lighting, mics, the works. And originally I was gonna have my buddy as part of the channel, as like a co-host or something, but he wasn't really interested in that. So he decided to go his own way and he's been working on a downhill mountain diecast racetrack. I gotta say, it looks pretty intense. He's not at the point yet where he's been um, posting regular races, but he's like super close. So, so I welcome you guys to head over to the XMC Racing Channel. Go say hello to my buddy Andy. It's gonna be similar to what 3D Bot Maker's got going on, but I think he's gonna include a bunch of obstacles and like animal crossings and just weird stuff like that. So if that sounds interesting, head over there, say hello, subscribe. And eventually once everything's up and running 100%, some of my diecasts are gonna end up on that track and we're gonna we're gonna put it through its paces and see how that thing goes. We're gonna put that Mack tow truck on that racetrack and see. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna have a beer and do some editing and uh, I'll see you guys in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.